We start with breaking news this morning. Farmerville police are on scene of a shooting and they are asking people to avoid the Gully Street and East Jackson Street areas. Good morning, I'm Jessica Torricelli. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Jasmine Anderson. The city of Monroe is working to improve street safety. Last night, people heard from the Smart Growth America group. They say when you do something you love, you never work a day in your life. <laughs> That's all that I have to say true. at this yeah. time. Okay. <laughs> at this time, okay. As you head off to the bus stop, off to school, temperatures will be in the lower 40s. Cool morning with sunshine on tap. And as we go throughout the day, we are under a mostly sunny sky. I'm joined by Senator Bill Cassidy. Thank you for being with us today. Oh, I'm glad to be with you. Thank you. Yes, thank you for being in North Louisiana. Yesterday you were in Ruston. We highlighted that visit. You're going to be in Winsboro today. Tell me a little bit about what you want to talk about. Attorney General and Treasurer will all be going to a runoff. And again, we do have four propositions on the ballot. That will be what everyone in the state is voting on tomorrow. Two o'clock this morning on the 4100 block of Harvey Street in Monroe, a fire broke out. But as you can see, the fire has been put out. You can see kind of the damage that is still left behind. Good morning, Jessica. I'm here with the Ridgewood Rams. What do you want the viewers to remember about your decorations? I want them to remember that River Oaks is big supporters of breast cancer because 300,000 women are diagnosed with breast cancer every year. I'm sure Rosie would highly appreciate going for that morning stroll as temperatures will be sitting in the lower 80s. Why is she eating like this is a five-star meal? <laughs> <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> right. Slow down, little lady. You don't have your syrup and your butter, or you don't have to have any. And we also have coffee over here, especially for our early risers. I think I could use another cup myself. And that is getting in the way of your morning commute. And I did notice on the Well Road exit traffic cam, we could see a lot of wind moving that camera back and forth. So that might be something that you encounter as you head out the door this morning. Growing frustration on both sides of the aisle. On Wednesday, Scalise narrowly defeated Ohio Congressman Jim Jordan during a secret ballot vote among House Republicans. Her perks is what gets me. <laughs> you can use that as pepper spray. Yeah, <laughs> literally. <laughs> this morning's Crime Watch, a student at Louisiana Tech University has been arrested and charged after a stabbing incident on campus. Four people were stabbed around 9 a.m. yesterday morning outside of the Lambright Sports and Wellness Center. It appears to be a random act of violence, according to authorities. There was a joint blood drive by Louisiana Tech and LifeShare Blood Center for the victims of this week's stabbings. Definitely will not need an umbrella. We will need that, though, heading into the weekend. Talk about that in just a second. And a little bit of extra time. You may have to defrost your car. I am so excited to be joined by Sandy Bates, the queen. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. All right. So we talked about it a little bit briefly, but tell me how you and the king are chosen for the Crew de Riviera. Joanne Dill joins us to talk to us about zombie debt. Although Halloween has passed, the tricks never really cease. Absolutely. So every day's trick or treat at the BBB. Yes, we have so many fun things. So this is Sriracha, right? Yes, you are holding Sriracha and I am holding Tabasco. Family Matters. Oh, family. Yeah. Which one is Family Matters? Ah, so oh, Steve Carl, Urkel. Carl's the cop yeah. and, and Steve Urkel. My and twin, Stephon. apparently. <laughs> Wait, take your glasses off so you can see Stefan. <laughs> 